Dear GWB friends and colleagues, it's been a great pleasure to be part of the Water Change Maker Awards as a chair of the second stage jury. Formerly, as you know, I served as a chair of the GWE steering committee, and now I enjoyed very much to being engaged and involved with GWP partnership once again. Now I'm wearing the green climate funds hat, and the stories of building climate resilience through water through the submissions to this um, initiative were very interesting. I actually saw a lot of enthusiasm, but more so the fact that everyone trying to contribute with the solution and not only stating the challenges was very important. And this is what inspired me most and actually injected a lot of motivation. First of all, I would like to thank the participants who are joining us or watching the live stream right now. I would also like to thank everyone who submitted their water change make a journey. Reading about the changes you're able to bring about was really inspiring. And it transmitted also hope. The competition, I must say, was very tough. And deciding on the 12 brilliant finalists was difficult. So now the moment that we have all been waiting for. It's my honor to present to you the 12 water change maker finalists. Our first finalist comes from Bangladesh, implemented by Helveta Swiss Intercooperation, and the project is Mother's Parliament's Advocate for Climate Resilient Wash Facilities. Then, from Bolivia, implemented by Fundación Natura Bolivia, and is called Watershed Bank, funding the conservation of water factories in the tropical Andes. Also from Bolivia, with the initiative Water and Hydro Energy are driving self-sustainable development in the Sarahoy indigenous community in Bolivia, implemented by ONG Prodener, Centro Integral del Desarrollo de las Energías Alternativas y de la Producción. And next one is from Brazil, the water producer project in Pipiripao watershed, building resilience in a water conflict area in Brazil implemented by a regulatory agency for water, energy, and basic sanitation of the federal district, Adasa. Then, from Bhutan, implemented by the Bhutan Water Partnership, building low-cost climate resilient agriculture technology to address water scarcity through water resource management. From Canada, implemented by the International Secretariat for Water, the project Indigenous Communities Leading Water resilient, Resilience in the Andes. Then from Ecuador, implemented by the organization Fonda de Paramos Tungarahua Iluca Contra la Pobreza FMPLPT. The project, the Tungarahua Moorland and Poverty Reduction Fund, driven by the indigenous and rural vision of Tungarahua. Next is from Egypt implemented by the Suez Canal University, public university, and the initiative is Bank Fil Filtration for Water Treatment and Climate Resilience, Application, Training, and Awareness. We also have from Honduras, implemented by Water for People, the project Strengthening Community Resilience through Holistic Water, Sanitation, and Hygiene, WASH programs, including Micro Basin Protection. From Kenya, submitted by Upanda Limited, we now have the WashMIS platform development and services. And then from Mexico, implemented by the Fondo Mexicana para la Conservación de la Naturaleza, AC, FMICN, and the project is Watersheds and Cities, social participation to improve the health of ecosystems and water provision. And finally, the last but not the least, implemented by Masungi Geo Reserve Foundation, MGFI, in the Philippines. And the project is the Masungi Geo Reserve Story, restoring forgotten watersheds through youth-led movements. I would like to be first to congratulate all of the finalists. I would also like to thank all of the participants and all of them and hope that you will continue your great work towards a water secure world. And of course, we'll join the change maker community
that is in preparation to share your experiences as well as learn from others. We'll have to be patient because the announcements of the win winners will take place in January 2021. Until then, let's continue the great work. Well done, and thank you very much for all your participation and very meaningful work.